Here we go then, the final of the first of this year's women's series events. And it's a familiar face in Lisa Ashton against Rianne Outside Sullivan, who, as we were talking about in previous rounds, doesn't play all that often, but when she does play, she seems to be at the business end of tournaments. And here she is in the first women's series final looking to topple the first lady 70. of world darts in the four-time world champion Lisa Ashton who certainly sent a message out already hasn't she Colin Lloyd 15 <laughs> 100 140 81. One hundred and forty. Apologies for a slight technical difficulty, but I can tell you Colin Jaws Lloyd joins me now. One hundred and forty. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, Lisa Ashton's thrown some fabulous darts today. No more so than in that. Cracking semi final with Anastasia Job Bomoslova. So Rianne's got a work cut out here, but she's more than capable of up and her game, also. Well, Ashton more than capable of completing a combination such as this. Treble 18, double 16. Game Not bad for starters, and Lisa Ashton in front. Bish, bash, bosh. It's yeah. frightening sometimes, Chris, the way she just goes about Six. her business. She, she looks like she's just... Uh, some people have said in her she's like the Steve Beaton of the ladies. She just throws Six. and in they go. You know, it's just so relaxed. Such a, a nice rhythm throw, but a devastating throw also. 60. Yes, but she wins, Colin. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that, Steve. <laughs> That was all Christopher 60. Murphy. Well, it has been a, a good winning run today. You mentioned that semi-final against Anastasia Dobromoslova, in which Ashton averaged 91.62. Before that, she beat Lorraine Wen Stanley 4-2 in a 4-0 win against Fallon Sherrick, which would have really caught the attention of all our viewers. 180. For the first 180 of the final goes the way of O'Sullivan, who we shouldn't discount from winning this match. Certainly a... Very capable opponent. 121. Although she hasn't beaten Lisa yet in a, a ranked event. She's played her three times, lost three times. But look at this for a six start surge. 126. Could that last start just cost her there, Cole, do you think? Possibly, but she was finishing well in the last match. It all depends how much pressure Lisa puts on this 65. shot. She's left herself a steady ton. But Rianne now 75 left to uh, break back straight away. It's a good marker. Oh, 60. that was a... That's what we call a lazy dart. You think you can just throw the dart and let it slide down the barrel. But this would be really hurtful. She's at it again. 90. This time the double just eluding Ashton. No, sir. Oh, unbelievable. She wanted 15. She scored 14. There's no double point five on the board, so that's a bust. Double five missed by Ashton. Six goals. So is double two, so a reprieve for Rianne. Game shot. Gets it this time and levels up, and that is a break back <coughs> for Rianne O'Sullivan, who will throw first in the third leg of this race to five. You have to give credit to her for reaching the, the final when you look at the day she's had as well. We've talked about all of the Seven scores. key figures, if you like, in this event. And between them, they've knocked out a lot of them, haven't they? Apart apart from Makuru Suzuki, who's beaten by Ros Bulmer. But Trina Gulliver and Dieter Hedman both on O'Sullivan's hit list today. 100. Very much so. Let's not forget that... Um, 
O'Sullivan also had to take out Bulma, who'd, who'd taken out Makuru 4-0. You know, so we knew, 85. or she must have known herself, that Roz must have been in some good form. And she took care of the business there in the semi-final. But she's got One. through them. She's here now against Lisa Ashton. That, uh, that last leg there, Chris, that could have been, that could have been absolutely huge because 100. Rihanna put herself in such a good position that if she'd have lost that leg, she could have quite easily have gone on to lose that match 5-0 because that, that's the sort of leg that will play on your head for the rest of the match and you just can't shake it out of there. Although you want to focus, you'll be thinking to yourself 97. every throw, how did I do that? How did I do that? Yeah, very good bounce back ability but 60. Ashton is kind of showing the same here because she's looking to break again she's got plenty of time on her side double 10 well, a couple of times she's gone inside that I was just about to say how much pressure will this double 5 be on for Lisa Ashton and a nice little 140 there from Rihanna O'Sullivan Game Doesn't make any difference as Lisa Ashton lashes in the double five for a break of throw yet again. We haven't had a hold of throw yet from either of these ladies. Could we see the first 180 from Lisa Ashton? We do. And could this be the first hold of throw? Ashton now trying to make her move, trying to grab the advantage in this final. Opening the leg with a maximum. Incidentally, the draw for the second event has been done and is available to view at tv.darkconnect.com. So that Lisa Ashton will take on Kerry O'Connor in her opening match and could meet quarter-finalist Kirsty Hutchinson in the second. We're talking about Laura Turner. Well, she's been drawn in the group of death, really, there. She's taken on Anastasia Doblomaslova in her opener. And then the other two 16. players on that board are Ros Bulmer and Zoe Jones. Again, a difficult task for Fallon Sherrick. She faces Maria O'Brien. As Ashton... 89. Just decides to lay up. Good sensible darts there from Lisa. She's not under any pressure at this 81. moment in this leg. Unfortunately, Rianne's not having a great leg. Sat on double 16 after 12 darts. Double eight now. Double four. Ooh. 24. Don't want to be doing that too often, Merv. You know, they've still got two more events after this one. You don't want to start getting into your head that I'm chasing around the board on 41. doubles. You want to start nailing it. Get rid of it. Move on to the next leg. Yeah, you could, uh, I'm sure, start to feel a little bit rusty, even if you're winning legs, but you're not winning them Game shot. as quickly as you would like. However, Lisa Ashton has won that leg. It is the first hold of throwing this final, and it amounts to a 3-1 lead for Lisa Ashton, who needs two more to be crowned the champion. 24. One hundred. Rianne's body language is not looking too good at this moment in time. But this will certainly help. Second one eighty now for Rianne O'Sullivan. Not out of this match, that's for sure. One hundred. Yeah, brilliant stuff from Rianne who takes a tally of maximums for the day to five. Ashton's one in this match sees her. Now amassing half a dozen 180s. Did win two of the four Women's Series events last 60. year. Lisa Ashton beating Fallon Sherrick and Dieter Hedman in finals. They were the other two winners of the events. I'm going to test your memory now, Colin. Can you remember the other beaten finalists? Viewers, viewers at home play along. Kareem Hammond. That was one. She lost to Fallon Sherrick. Dita Hedman. Dita was one of the players beaten by Lisa Ashton. But the other player, I'll give you a clue. Hang on. Hang on. 
Eileen de Graff. Correct. 60. Correct. Colin Lloyd, the darting mastermind champion, who will be the women's series champion. Lisa Good. Ashton may Good well shot. be moving closer, but that double seven keeps O'Sullivan in contention. I have to say, and, and, and no disrespect to Eileen de Graff whatsoever, I could see the blonde curly hair, and I thought... Uh, 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 26. And I thought, it's not Steffi Graf. <laughs> Eileen de Graf, fabulous dart player. Well, there could still be life in this final yet. Or Sullivan adds 41. her name to that roll of honour of finalists at the Women's Series. Lisa only kicking off of 26 there, and 60. Rianne really didn't punish enough there with the 41. 60. I was just about to say what she would give for another one of those 180s. Yeah, well thrown darts, but none of them finding the treble. 40. Still there for the taking though in this leg, Lisa Ashton, and crucially, if O'Sullivan can find a break here, 83. she would actually have the advantage of throwing first in two of the last three legs. Eighty-two. Is it starting to get a little bit that they can see see the winning line before actually getting over it and one hundred and four to getting that first little step closer. Yeah, it's not just about, you know, I'm sure at this stage you're not thinking about those world spots or the Grand Slam spot. 135. Winning a title, isn't it? The 12 on offer over the course of the Women's Series this year. And so far, only three women have won them. 137. It would be a real badge of honour to be able to say, I won a PDC Women's Series event. And that 137 has put O'Sullivan in a very good spot to level up this decider. 134. That has put the pressure on. Twenty. I was just about to say that's awkward. Game shot. Well, that's a great shot from Lisa Ashton there. Rando Sullivan hit the one three seven to have the opportunity for tops. But Lisa Ashton steps straight behind her, pick one three four of her own to lead double twelve to put the pressure on. 41. And now only one leg away from winning this first women's series. Yeah, and she hasn't been taken to a last leg decider all day so far, Lisa Ashton. 100. Has been dominant in her victories. It is a, a tournament that would... 100. Earn the winner a thousand pounds. Winner up getting 600. 60,000 pounds in prize money to play for over the course of the 12 events. 30. Nice little day's wages if you can get it. 120. Oh, unlucky there from Rianne. <coughs> We're hoping to see a third 180 there. But she's not going away, Murph, is she? She's, she's still battling. Yeah. 57. Certainly. And that's what she's been doing all day. We saw some of it in the semi-final against Ros Bulmer. 140. We know that she's not phased by anything. I mean, how many players... In any of any standard rock up at Lakeside for the first time and reach a final and then do it again the following year. They did meet at the women's series last year, this pair. It was in the first event as well, but it was in the last sixteen and it was a four one win. Forty. In Lisa's favour on that occasion. There have been eleven years between that and their previous meeting. Forty. What were you doing 11 years ago? <laughs> uh, Game shot. I wouldn't like to say, Colin. I can't remember 11 days ago, let alone 11 years. Good shot there from Miano Sullivan, taking out the 60 very cleanly. 4-3 behind, still, like Murph has said, still life left in this match as 85. yet. 85. It'll be interesting to see if 
O'Sullivan can find a way to win this leg, although that's less likely now how Lisa reacts in the heat of a last leg shootout, but she's determined not to get there. How much Six. of a nice little relaxer will that be for Lisa and Rianne looking on thinking, please don't, please don't. But she did. 130. Well, 95 left after nine darts. 96, 180, 130. 100. If she can take this out, nice little 12 dart leg to seal the deal. Double 19 to bring an end to the... Six well, she decides to split it. Interesting. Nod of approval from Colin Lloyd next to me. Yeah, first dart and the double 19 covered it. Thought about it. Big six. Good thinking. So, to win Good the first event of the women's series, and Lisa leads the way as Ashton aces the opening event. She defeats Rihanna O'Sullivan 5 3 in the final, having beaten Fallon Sherrick 4 0 in the run to it. And she pockets the £1,000 winner's prize and tops the order of merit after the first event, taking a step towards qualification for the Grand Slam and the World Championship. Lisa Ashton is number one in event one, and we will be getting underway with event two in just a few moments' time. So.